We woke up to yet another coating of snow today, and there's our colleague Tim McGill. Didn't waste any time. <laughs> he hit the uh, sledding slopes in Crete. Had a great time out there, and you got to check this out. The recent snowstorms are also bringing joy and tourists to a neighborhood in a town called Buffalo, Minnesota, and uh, this is amazing. It is. That's because a family has taken the traditional snowman to new heights, literally. Karen Scullin gives us a peek at their gigantic undertaking. There's no denying Frosty Phoebe is fat. At about 30 feet tall and 20 feet across, this dude is carrying a wide load. But today, Eric Phoebe is trimming the fat, shaping him up to look his best. Upkeep is an everyday thing, but it's not nearly the work that went into building him. Get all the snow from the neighborhood. Pile it up right here, and then I take a snowblower and blow one big pile. It all started last Friday. It took 40 hours and the entire weekend. Temporary stairs up the backside helped get the 75 pound hat on top of Frosty's head. The big boy also needed a big set of mittens. He said, Can you grab me some of your mittens? And I said, For what? And he said, The snowman. And I'm like, Nope, nope, I will sew some. Now his wooden eyes, traffic cone nose, and never-ending smile seems to be watching and peeking around every corner. And there's only one thing that makes him have a bad day. When it's sunny out or it's over 30 degrees, I'll come home from work and I notice that it's sh shrunk a little bit. So I'm out here adding snow to it nonstop. Now this is actually the fourth big snowman the Phobies have built. The first one was 12 feet, then 20 and 25 feet in 2022. This year though, he's taller and wider than ever. The Phobies say expanding their family makes them happy, but seeing others enjoy their work is even better. So nice seeing the community come together and just people from, like he said, Bloomington, every all over Minnesota come to see it. And it's just so neat to meet new people. That is unbelievable. And you know, I have inside word that next year the plan is to add a speakeasy inside. Nice. Yeah. Now we're talking. That's, yeah, that's they'd have scoop. all the ice they needed. <laughs> yeah. You know?